So it's a horrible feeling when you feel like what you want to say has already been said, but in a better way, but you didn't realize you wanted to say it like that till you heard them say it first, but you're sure that's what you thought you would have said if you'd known you taught it before they did. <laughs> it's horrible when you don't say what you mean, or even worse, don't mean what you say, or even worse, did say what you mean, and you did mean to say, but not then, or like that, or in that way. <laughs> it's horrible when after saying something to someone, you remember that you forgot to say the important bit, you know, the bit that you practiced, but the bit you forgot won't fit in without the rest of it, which you can't remember anyway, and another person's gone away. <laughs> it's horrible when you're saying so much, it doesn't make any sense, the rush of all the things to say, you stumble trying to get out, just to jumble up before they get to your mouth, but that doesn't seem to stop the stream of all the other things to say, trying to get through, now they're stuck too. <coughs> and then you wonder why no one's replying. <laughs> Do you even listen to a word I just said? It's horrible then when you realise you've been speaking in your head. <laughs> oh, hello there. So, <clears throat> do you come... I was just wondering if maybe because... Uh -oh. Do you come here off... Could I buy you a... Uh, just because... Have you got... Uh, oh no, I couldn't do this. Uh, it's just, I don't often... Um, It's horrible not having the courage to just say, Hi, how are you? Oh, it's nice to meet me too. Sure, why not? Let's have a drink. And you want to buy? Hmm, let me think. I'll come in. Let's have a kiss. And you want my number? Sure, it's 02076. But it's horrible because instead I freeze with frozen knees. I'm stuck glued to my seat. You know, if only I could say, I love you. Or just, I like you. Or look, mate, I'm really bored of listening to you. I'm going to walk this way, please. Don't follow me. Yeah. If only I could say, yes, your portrayal of the intricacies of the modern moralistic zeitgeist through the vehicle of popular linguistic colloquialisms, co-durance, mirth, and honesty, whilst providing a refreshing satirical analysis of social stereotypes, forcing us to question that which we habitually adhere to with such picture-perfect non-belligerence, instead of, yeah, mate, I really liked your poem. <laughs> that so often when speech is allowed, so many of us struggle to speak aloud, left later wishing if only they could hear me now, if only I had thought of this when they were around, if only my silent cursive was spoken consonants and vowels, if only life had rewrites like when I write stuff down, if only I were a pen and my pages a crowd, then even if my sound didn't make sense, well they could make my sense make... Sound! Beautiful. <laughs>